Top of the morning to you guys. I know you guys got a little speck in your lens there. I've been trying to clean that off, but I can't figure out how to get to it. It's like inside the lens. Do, do any of you know like how to do that or how it got in there? There's one little speck. there and I tried to clean it out but it's like underneath the it's weird so you always got that little speck I might have to take it in and get it cleaned out somewhere or someone who knows what they're doing anyways welcome to the day welcome today I am filming it is October 16th 2014 you are viewing this sometime on October 23rd or later uh, we just got our load and we're going to be headed home actually I should probably put this into the GPS here. Let's uh, let's see how far we gotta go here. Let's go back. And get the right angle here. Where to? Go home, man. Go home. Ah, scenic Northern Ontario. It's this is actually my favorite time to go through here in this season because of all the colors. Just not say like orange and bright red and yellow green and all the different colors. See, every corner you go around, it changes color. Now it's all red again. <laughs> I wish the trees in Manitoba would turn colors like this. Like they only go yellow in Manitoba. We don't got all this red and orange. Look at this. Over here, it looks like most of the leaves have fallen off already. Just around the corner, guys. Just around the corner. This time next month, there should be snow on the ground. So this is one of those string me around pumps. I put it under the bumper comes up over there. Usually I would put it over the hood, but uh, this hose is really dirty for some reason. I didn't want to get my hood dirty, so I had enough reach to just string it around that way. It's the way we do it up here in the Great White North Dairy. It's the way we do it. It's thirsty. Thirsty, thirsty. Well, there's our fuel haul for the day. 665 Canadian dollars. It's probably close to about 600 American dollars. 511 liters. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. One second here. Let me pull up my calculatory device. Any of you beat me to it? It's actually 511.9. So we're going to say it's 512 liters divided by 3.78. 135 gallons, U.S. gallons. Yeah, that's the fuel for today. And it'll be gone tomorrow. Anyways, it's time to officially start our day. It's gonna be another rainy day. Three days in a row of this rain stuff. We made it to Husky in Sault Ste. Marie. There he is. You can tell it's a Husky because there's the big Canada flag. 
Yeah, so that is where we usually walk diesel over there. Remember there's that fence there for no apparent reason? Strange, it's still there. There's probably something in there, like a septic field or something, I don't know. Diesel, what do you think it is? I think it's a big dog run, man. It's all right, it could be. You never know. Maybe we'll go check it out again, why not? What do you think it is, Diesel? I don't know, what do you guys think it is? It's a prison of sorts. This is where they keep the bad truckers. If you're a bad trucker, you go into trucker prison. Here it is. Apparently, everybody's been doing very good. You've all been very good because there's nobody in here. Unless if this is where they bury the bodies. No, I'm just kidding. They don't do that in Canada. Jeez. There was at least one of you who was like, what? They do that in Canada? No, no, we don't do that. Looks like there's like some kind of pond in the middle there. But... Oh, well, who cares? Who cares, right, Diesel? I don't care. I don't care, Diesel. Leave that alone. Jeez. Oh, boy. Where are you going or what? Come on, man. He's got to take the most difficult way. He's always got to blaze his own path. I'm sort of like that in wintertime. I don't like driving in everyone else's tracks. I like making my own tracks. I guess Diesel's the same way. You see that driver over there? He's got a GoPro mounted on his windshield. to go for a swim. That's what I like. I got pulled in right there. I should have. I don't feel like stopping again for a while. We're between Sault Ste. Marie and Wawa. Been listening to CNN on, on and off today, but all they've been talking about, literally, all they've been talking about is Ebola. It's frustrating. I want to know what else is going on in the world. What's going on on the other side in the Middle East there? They haven't even mentioned it once all day. All they've been talking about is Ebola, Ebola, Ebola. Be afraid, we're all gonna die. Now I'm not trying to play down the disease. I know it's a very serious disease. And we should be reporting on it, but seriously, you shouldn't be spending 24 hours a day reporting on one thing. I wanna hear other things that are going on in the world. This is one of the more scenic areas of uh, Northern Ontario, right between Sault Ste. Marie and Wawa. hills here on Highway 17. Just amazing. Look at this. Isn't that amazing, Diesel? It's amazing. All the colors in there yet, too. Just polka dot in the hill there. The red, yellows. Mostly yellow around here. We got the big lake off to our left there. Uh, I'm so bad at remembering which great lake is which. I don't know if this is Lake Superior or Lake Michigan or Lake Ontario. I probably should know that, but whichever one it is, is just to my left here. You'll get a glimpse of it in just a second, I'm pretty sure anyway. There it is. It looks like an ocean from here, because all you see is like water right to the horizon. Just a really big lake. It's amazing how all the water just stays in one place and doesn't soak right into the ground, right? Because you pour water anywhere else, even if it's in like a ditch, it all soaks into the ground and it disappears. Not in a lake. How come that? How does that work? I know it's because the ground is saturated with water, but still, why doesn't the lake ever go down? How do they stay there?
haven't got my moose bumper yet. It's being made at the moment. They're putting it together specifically for my truck. I told them I want the toughest thing on the highway. Let's see what they come up with. So we all agree we have those moments where something happens and something breaks and you're like, how in the world did that happen? I'm here parked at the, the Petro Canada in Thunder Bay. I gotta go to bed right away and I'm so tired. And so I'm pulling in here, getting ready to go to bed, gonna do a U-turn and then back into my spot, right? As I'm doing my U-turn, I guess my glad hands, the air hoses for my brakes that go from my truck to my trailer, I guess they just didn't want to stretch today for some reason or it was weak or something. I'm glad this broke in uh, the warm weather, not in winter time. Look what happened to this sucker. What? How does that happen? It must have been weakened or something. It wasn't tugging on it that hard, but it broke it off anyways. And this is my emergency airline. So obviously my trailer brakes lock up right away and I'm right in the middle of the parking lot blocking everybody in. And before you go, Chuck it your ass, should have done your pre-trip, Chuck it your ass. Save yourself the embarrassment. How would I know this on a pre-trip? It was perfectly fine in the morning. I always do check my airlines too. Definitely wasn't, I didn't notice it to be cracked and it wasn't leaking. Anyways, it broke now. Good thing the previous owner of this truck saved me. He saved me more than once already. I gotta replace all the parts that he's left in here <laughs> that I've used. He left an extra glad hand thing, glad hand thing. He left an extra one in the truck under the bunk. And I had a vice grip. I was just lucky enough that it fit, that everything worked. I could just quickly swap it out, hooked her back up, release the brakes, push the air into there. And then I realized, uh oh, at the same time, the airline had a rip in it or something. It didn't get caught on anything that I can tell, but it must have gotten caught on something at one point anyways. It, uh, right by the, by the glad hand, there was a little hole in the, I guess because it got tugged on something. And, uh, so I had to cut the, the airline a little shorter. And then I had the extra part, which is this part. I have, I still have another extra one, which goes on the airline. Uh, the airline goes in there and it comes out here into the trailer. And inside here, there's a little sealing device. Now it's so funny, because when I bought this truck, the previous owner sat me down and explained how to do this, because he says, oh, this has happened to me before. I don't know what's going on, but you're probably gonna have to do this in the future. Like there's nothing wrong with the truck. It's, just, it's happened to him before, and he wanted to fill me in and say, hey, if this happens to you, this is how you fix it. Ha, what do you know? It happened to me, and I knew how to fix it now, thanks to him. So thank you very much, Abe for teaching me how to do that when I bought your truck. Now it's my truck. But it used to be your truck. I know you still see it as your truck. But I know you guys watched the video, so thank you for teaching me how to fix that. It saved me tonight from calling a service truck because I was blocking everybody in. I couldn't just stay like that overnight and fix it in the morning. I would have to get it fixed, get out of everyone's way. So it saved me a lot of money tonight. Thank you, I appreciate it. Now I gotta go out and replace those parts that I use, so if it happens again, I can fix it again. So this here was the airline that was messed up. Uh, this thing here broke off. Now here's the crazy part, it was a little crazier than just that. See how that one over there looks newer? Cause that one is the newer one. <laughs> the extra glad hand that I had was a blue one. It was the service, not the service, the, the blue one. Yeah, the service one. What am I talking? I don't know my term. I'm tired, guys. I'm messing all my words up. You know, the blue one. So I had a blue one. The funny thing is about these blue ones is they don't work on the red ones because the red ones have a little safety device that you don't hook up the wrong color to the wrong side. The blue one won't hook up to the red one. Otherwise, your truck won't move, right? I've been guilty of that before on trucks that don't have that safety feature. I put them on backwards, and then I'm wondering, why won't she go? I don't get it. Why won't she go? <laughs> what? So anyways, that one on here wouldn't work. After I installed it, I figured out, oh, it's not gonna work, is it? 
So what I had to do was I realized, like first of all, I thought, shoot, I'm gonna have to call a service guy anyways. But what I realized was this one was on that side, right? But this one's a universal one. This is one of those old ones. Uh, the, the kind that I made the mistake with the one time I put them on the wrong side. This one fits on both sides, but it was on that one. So I had to take it off of that one, then take that one off of this one and switch them. And now, ba -ba -ba -ba, they both work fine. Holding there, good. And uh, then after that, I figured out, yeah, I fixed it, yeah. Then I realized right in here, I guess when it got pulled, because I did make a really sharp turn. Like I wasn't doing a stupid, like jackknife. Like I still had plenty of room. I was watching my side fairing over there to make sure. And it did not get hooked in the bike. I checked, I was like, shoot, did it get hooked in my bike? I'd be like, dang, I knew I should have taken that bike off already. But no, it did not get hooked in the bike. That had nothing to do with it. Though that bike is gonna come off probably this time I'm at home. Uh, winter time's coming and I don't use it enough. I need a new bike. That one, the gears don't work. I need a new bike. But yeah, that was not the problem because I know some of you went, hey, you got hooked in your bike, Chuck Jack. No, no. You're wrong, it didn't. It just, uh... You know what it could have been? You know what it could have been? You know my truck's going into the shop on Monday, right? Part of it is to replace that up there. Now you see how the hoses come from here? They're hanging up there. They're hanging by tarp straps right now because this uh, Springer thinger. See how it's a springy thingy? I know it's dark, I'm sorry guys, terrible lighting. That thing broke on me. Uh, so I am using tarp straps to hold the that up and they're not as stretchy as that so that could be the reason why it put extra tension on this and broke that off that's getting replaced on Monday at the shop I just can't find those springs anywhere like, no one's had them in stock like, hmm. so there's tarp straps they work whatever so anyways the extra tension I guess had ripped a hole in the hose right in there underneath the spring so what I have to do is take this off. As you can tell, I didn't have the right tool, so I bit it up a little bit. I'm sorry. It worked, okay? It worked. Uh, I had a vice grip. And uh, I had to take the hose off, cut it, reinstall it with this new one, put a new little sealing device in there. And now listen, the air is flowing through there right now, or it's, it's pressurized, no air leaks. And you can move this ram, move ram. Dun, dun, dun. No air leaks, see? I fixed it. I know guys, lighting is terrible here. Lighting is absolutely terrible. But uh, I've been talking about this for way too long already anyways, man. We've been talking about this like probably half the video. But I'm really happy and proud of myself that I fixed it. Thought I saw a ghost over there. It's just a truck. Anyways, we gotta walk the weasel and then go to bed. I'm in a good mood right now. I wanna go have a good night. I'm excited because tomorrow I'm gonna be home. And my friend is supposed to come over tomorrow. James, you remember him? He had the Jixer. Uh, yeah, he's coming over tomorrow. I hope he wants to be in the vlog. If not, sorry guys. But at least you'll know he'll be there. But I guess I'll end the vlog here, guys. We're going to be starting from here tomorrow, Petro Canada. Unless if we wake up in a different location than we went to sleep. Which would be awkward. And strange. And scary. And I don't know how I would do that in the log book. <laughs> I swear, officer, I went to bed in Thunder Bay, and I woke up in Ignis. This is how it happens sometimes. What? <laughs> oh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you again right here tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Time.